I'm making a coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Do you want coffee? I'm making coffee. I'm making. You, you want one? I'm making coffee. Does anybody want coffee? I'm making coffee. Does anybody, you want coffee? Does anybody want coffee? I'm making coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Hello, anybody? I'm making coffee. Does anybody want coffee? You people wonder why I'm angry. I'm making coffee. Do you want coffee? Do you? Do you? I'm making coffee over here. Does anybody want coffee? You wonder why I'm angry. sense whatsoever welcome back to the coffee bar today oh today what I got Muskoka Roastery coffee company now I have had Muskoka coffee on this channel before but not this one this one here is loop her lant that's French this one here is howling wolf medium dark roast now I had another video planned for today, but as you know, if you watch this channel often enough, things just never work as they're supposed to work. So, I got an email from a buddy at work by the name of Ken Cope. He says, hey, I got something for you to try. I said, what? He replied, I got coffee from Muskoka for you to try. I said, awesome. He said, come on by and pick it up. So I did. This is what he had. The Muskoka Roastery Coffee. Like I said, it was the Loop Herlant My Noir. I'll work on my French a little later on. Like I just said, this is the Howling Wolf Medium Dark Roast. Never had this before. I don't think I've ever had a Medium Dark Roast either. So as usual, we're going to brew a cup of this. We're going to try it black. Then we're going to try it with milk. And maybe I'll try and find some fun facts about Muskoka, Ontario. Never been there, but I hear it's an awesome place. Stick around. Alright, while we're waiting for that to go, to go, I'm not sure where it's going. Uh, let's see what we have for Muskoka, Ontario. Apparently Muskoka has a very large winery, or very large wineries. What do you call a group of wineries? I don't know. Anyway, their wine is not made from grapes. The wine that's in Muskoka is made from what is grown locally, including cranberries, blueberries, apples, and maple syrup. Maple syrup wine. Muskoka also has three craft breweries. In other words, you'll never go thirsty. Uh, Bracebridge is home to Muskoka Brewery. I, I'm assuming they're all within a vicinity of each other. I'm talking about Bracebridge, Ontario, Muskoka, things of that nature. Baysville, which is another town there, uh, which you'll find Lake of Bays Brewery. The newest one there is the Sawdust City Brewing Company, and that's in Gravenhurst. Now, I have been to Gravenhurst. The lakes of Muskoka offer excellent freshwater diving and snorkeling. You can even explore shipwrecks, such as the... who I'm going to butcher this one. W Wom... Womi <laughs> in Lake. If you guys know what that is, just leave me a comment down below and spell it so I can actually read it. Uh, Lake Muskoka's Milford Bay, SS Mohawk, SS Mary Louise are in the Lake of Bays, Portage Bay. A lot of bays there. All right, so they also have there what they call Rotary Dock Fest. I'm just going to read this right off of their website here. One of the most unusual sporting events in Muskoka is the Rotary Dog Fest held every summer in Huntsville. Again, it's another small town within that area. While there's nothing strange about watching participants race through obstacles on the Muskoka River, you might do a double take when you see what their choice of vessel is. They're racing bathtubs. I see bathtubs with outboard motors on them. I want to give that a shot. They have a tree museum. 
Okay. Waterfalls. Whew. I like waterfalls, especially when it comes to slow motion B-roll. Nothing beats a waterfall. Especially run that in. Anyway, let me get this. Uh, Muskoka boasts nearly 20 gorgeous waterfalls, some of which require a bit of a hike, while others, such as the Bracebridge Falls, pictured, you can't see it, I can, uh, can be seen from the road. Ragged Falls near Huntsville is one of the most spectacular waterfalls in the area. And I might have to do a road trip. And this is right up my alley. They have cottages, cabins on the lake. While Muskoka has plenty of accommodation options, from campsites to historic inns, it would be a shame to visit cottage country without staying in a cottage and simply getting away from it all. God knows I'd like to get away from it all. So I'm gonna, this is going to be the last one we have from mid-March to mid-April. Maple syrup takes center stage in Muskoka with the area's maple farms offering tours to see how Canada's to see how Canada's favorite sweet treat is produced. Restaurants get in on the act with maple themed dishes while wow. with maple themed dishes while even the local breweries have special maple flavored offerings. It's Canada. Maple syrup. You the rest of the world take note. We are the capital of maple syrup. Nobody beats Canada with maple syrup. Alright, here we go. Coffee's done. Seems my coffee maker just went on the fritz, but I think I got a little bit here. Oh, not as much as I'd like, but I got a little bit. Let's see what we got. That's not too bad. I know this is going to do it. That's pretty good. Like my coffee maker messed up while I was making this. It actually quit. Uh, Kiri, you could just give me an error. Not that you're watching. Tell me to reset and remove the pod. I just cleaned it, so it's not that it needs cleaning. Anyway, so I've got about four ounces of coffee in here now without the milk in it it tastes a little bit bitter um, but that's to me the all coffee tastes bitter without milk in it I add the milk and it's actually pretty smooth pretty good tasting Carrie what's up okay I use this coffee maker day in and day out unless you want me to send this pack into the curb we need to figure out a solution here it doesn't tell me what the problem is it just stops brewing and tells me to call the company I think you're trying to upsell me. Anyway, enough of that. This coffee, I would definitely recommend the Howling Wolf or the, or my French viewers, the Loup Herlent Me Noir. I don't know where it means black. So yeah, I just butchered this. I don't know how to speak French. I do know Noir. I think I'm going to try and fix this Keurig or send it packing and make another cup of this. Loop Herlant Me Noir. To my French viewers, I apologize for butchering the French language. I can barely speak English, let alone French. So, Howling Wolf by Muskoka Roastery. That's a very good coffee. I'd definitely recommend it. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Other than Ken bought me this coffee to review. Muskoka, you watching? I'll see you guys all in the next one. Later.